Hey, how's it going, tech world? Elric Ferris here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel, bringing you tomorrow's technology today. And what are we bringing to the table today? Well, today we're bringing something really unique to the table. A lot of people don't know about this company called Runcore, but these guys are a very, very strong company. And the reason that you really don't hear about these guys much is these guys mainly focus on doing enterprise, government sales, NASA, you know, Navy, all that kind of stuff. Their retail stuff, they're really not that into, but they're starting to change their ways a little bit. And with that said, I've got their latest SSD in my hand. Now, this particular drive is Sandforce driven. It features SATA 3 or SATA 6 gigabit a second connectivity. This one comes in at 480 gigabytes. I know there are some out there that are 512, but this one's a 40 gigabyte model, and it's actually a little bit pricey, but I just want to clarify right off the bat. Before you guys freak out about the price, you have to take something in mind. This is an enterprise class drive. Now, the difference between desktop and enterprise is quite significant. If you go out and you look at a Western digital drive for your desktop, and then you go look at one for enterprise, the price difference is three or $400. That said, this one's about $600. But let's do the unboxing, and let's just check out what comes in here. We've got the box. Here's the back of the box. I'll just set this right up here so you guys can see it. 480 gigabytes. You guys can see. Say to three. This drive also claims to be one of the fastest that there's ever been. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm going to go ahead now and I'll go ahead and just do a little bit of the unboxing. Go ahead and take this tape off. Just doing this in the air, folks. I didn't figure there's going to be too much to this. You guys know SSDs. There's not really a lot to them, but I don't think very many people have actually seen that. Uh, cameraman, Schmitter on the floor, please. I threw this at the other cameraman earlier. It was still on the floor, so I guess I'll use it. So here we go. Make a nice, quick incision with the Schmittar. Isn't this like the totally like overkill psychotic boxing? I know. I'm famous for that shit. But there we go. Made an incision. Going to pop the cap now. This drive says that it has the external transfer bay. And there it is. So we'll get that. Set that off to the side. So here's the inside box. We're going to start off here. You can see it's got all the stuff right here. I'm going to go ahead and pop the cap. Here is the drive. Now you guys can see right off the bat, this drive looks different than other drives. It's all chrome, reminds me of kind of like a car part. So let's go ahead and remove it, get all close-ups of it. Here's your connectivity. Here's the front of the drive. It's basically a 2.5 inch drive, like all of them are, nothing different there. Basically just in the looks, looks pretty cool, I like it. Set it down. Got some stickers and stuff in here. Voila, voila, walling. Got the SATA cable. Now, this is going to be interesting. Watch this, folks. This all comes out the packaging. Blah, 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 blah. Here are the screws. They're all right here on the side. So you pop those off. Here are all installation screws. And then finally, here is the bay. So if you need to, you can take this drive. Install it onto here. It mounts through these four screws right here, through these four screws right here. Place the drive in, screw it in, and then put it inside your bay, and away you go. So that's it, folks. This has been the unboxing and first look of the new Runcore 480 gigabyte SSD. I'll see you guys back here with the test results next week. See ya.